Greetings. I got a blurb here for you. So this is a, a thing they ordered. I wasn't sure if it would actually show up, but apparently it has. So this is, uh, should be, the game Flux. It's a, I don't know if it was shareware exactly, what distribution model it was distributed under back in the day, but it's a game from 1999. I mentioned it recently in uh, on the LGR video about the Dell Inspiron 9100. I was just playing it there because I was thinking about it and I was like, oh yeah. I remember that game. I downloaded it from Real Arcade back in the day. And I uh, got the full version digitally years and years ago. But I went onto their site again here recently to see if it was still for sale, and it was. And there was a physical CD-ROM option available. So I just chose it. So uh, here it is, I think. Let's just open it up and see what's in here. Because I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Yep, that is a CDR. That's pretty much what I was expecting. Look at that beard. It's getting a little crazy. Um, but anyway, look at that. It, it's not a big game, so I was like, well, okay, what are they going to put on the CD? Anything more than the game itself? Probably not. It doesn't look like it, just judging by the burned area. And it's just a basic little flux. But still, it's the full version of... One of my favorite puzzle games from back then, and uh, lots of fun memories with it. And it's just cool to have it on a physical CD, like a registered official kind of thing. The uh, label is not paper or anything. It's like actually printed on there. So that's nice. You just never know with these kind of things, like a registered like digital anything is interesting to get on a physical format like this, for me anyway. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I guess install this. <laughs> I assume it's no different than the digital download version, but whatever. Flux on CD-ROM, how fun. All right, so we got this lovely Toshiba Tekra laptop going here. Uh, it's another of my Toshiba satellite-ish systems from then. I was messing with that other one recently and figured I'd bring this one out too to sort of clean it up and do something with it in the future. But uh, yeah, this was a rather top-end machine at the time it came out in, I think, 1997. Like 6,000 bucks back then. <laughs> Seriously. 730 CDT. It's got a 1024 by 768 active matrix LCD, uh, 32 megs of RAM, a Pentium, 150 megahertz, non-MMX, a whopping two gigabyte hard drive. Anyway, let's go ahead and get Flux going here on its built-in CD-ROM. How fancy for 97. Amusingly, it has all this stuff. It's a pretty big system and there's no floppy disk drive. You still have to get an external drive for that. It does need Windows 95 on here. I'm probably gonna be downgrading it to that. All right, let's see here. UDF volume is the label. Well, that's... <laughs> oh, really? Just fluxsetup.msi. And they didn't even label the disk? It's not even an executable. It's an MSI thing, which means we're going to need a later version of Windows or some other prerequisites in order for this to even run on here. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't know what to do with it. Windows 98. That answers what's on there, the bare minimum. I can't believe they didn't even label the disc. You'd think they'd label it, man. You know, the software, it's got the flux right there, but UDF volume, oh my goodness. Well, it is that sort of a print on demand service, I guess, that this company does, Digital River Element 5. All right, went ahead and burned it on here, and uh, turns out the most up-to-date download for flux that you get through them is, <laughs> Also an MSI, a Windows installer thing. So uh, yeah, I guess I was wrong there. Or maybe the download that I had from however long ago wasn't executable. Or maybe I'm just remembering wrong. I don't know. I've had Flux in so many different versions over the years that I can't keep what's what straight. But it does seem that the current download through the website is an MSI. So I'll just have to go ahead and, and uh, I've got a few different options. So we can just get the Windows installer going here, put onto Windows 98, that'll be a good thing to have anyway. And then we can try that setup directly from the CD that they sent and see if that works. Hopefully that'll be fine. 
Of course, it wouldn't have been a problem if we were running this on Windows XP, as I did back in the day, but I mean, this game is from 1999. Of course, this is an updated version from sometime in the 2000s, so I guess it figures that they would update the installer as well, but still. Okay, back to UDF volume. See how this goes. Okay, an installer. What? Well, I guess they have updated it to the point where it can't be run on 9X or Millennium Edition. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. So I'd have to run an old version if I were to put it on here, or we can just get Windows XP really quick and uh, play it that way. I guess we'll do that. I don't, know, I don't feel like screwing around looking for other old files. So let's move over to Windows XP. Pretty straightforward install, and that's that. Neat. Oh yeah. Masterwork software. leave it on all of the normal settings. I gotta leave the music on. Classic mode. All right. So yeah, that's uh, that's this flux. Got that awesome music blaring. And it's a, a same game, so you just really want to connect two or more of the same color together. And try to clear everything on screen. it up. Yep. <laughs> so I got these three left. Now let's try a challenge mode. These are just going to be preset puzzles. And yeah, this is where the real like puzzle stuff comes into play. So I already messed it up. Ah! There we go. There we go. So yeah, that's Flux. You get the idea. You've probably played games like this before if you've played <laughs> games. <laughs> Especially uh, a lot of mobile, well, not, I don't know about mobile, but definitely like browser games over the years I've seen along this line. Probably mobile games too, I don't know. I haven't really paid too much attention. But this one I, was always really one that stood out to me because, you know, you just look at it. You got the cool explosion effects. You got those ray traced items, uh, ray traced in the sense of how they were created, like in a 3D program and then pre rendered. It's not doing RTX or anything, obviously, but you know, it's got a cool look to it. All these shiny things and the explosions and little particles and stuff that come off. And of course, the music. I mean, my goodness, the music is still awesome. It's just like tracker tunes, demo scene sounding stuff. It's great. Dang it. Yeah, not really. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's puzzle mode. Keeps on going and going and going. And you have different difficulties of that. Oh, LE, there we go. So Flex LE, limited edition, I suppose. That was the one that I played on Real Arcade or downloaded through Real Arcade back in the day. Just the demo, really. So it wasn't, yeah, wasn't exactly shareware. Kind of felt like it, though, because it was, it was a substantial enough thing that you could play it for a good little while. Uh, let's do 
I like the vapor waviness of this. <laughs> and bums. Ah, well, never mind. I don't like this tile set. Looks stupid. <laughs> it looked cooler on the preview. Oh well. Yeah. So the bombs, you get this kind of bomberman crossy kind of thing going on, like the it goes down here in a cross shape. So that's cool. Quite handy in certain situations. Yeah, I don't like this tile set. I thought I would, but I don't. Dunk, dunk. Oh, really? One left. <laughs> Fine. Just explored all the bombs. Anyway, Flux, that's what this is. I recommend it. And uh, shout out to Joshua, who was actually one of the developers of Flux. And he got in touch after seeing my, uh, or I guess somebody let him know that I mentioned it, kind of showed it in that Dell Inspiron video that I did. Hey, let me let me get the email really quick. Yeah, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but yeah, it's uh, from Joshua Kalin, one of the two developers on the original Flux. And he said, I got an email from a friend letting him know that Flux was getting some love on LGR and was happy to see it on such a such a beast of a laptop, that Dell crazy thing. Uh, he said he was always adamant that a subwoofer be in the recommended system requirements for the game, so thanks for doing it justice. While risking immolation, indeed. Uh, that computer has fire hazards thanks to its subwoofer battery. I wish these had a subwoofer attached to you, because you could hear some of the thumping of not just the music, but like one of the, um, the pieces connect to each other. There's a big whoop. And this is a very bass heavy game. And if this had a subwoofer, that would sound a lot better. Otherwise, it's kind of driving these speakers a little hard. Um, but anyway, he also said that he saw that I had ordered a, a CD and bought a CD. I'll have to let him know how it works out. Well, here's the video, sir, if you happen to see this. Um, <laughs> the CD itself was a little disappointing, not having a label and just an MSI file in, in there. It'd be nice to have, you know, a label on the CD itself or like a little file for a, a PDF maybe of documentation, something, just just anything at all. Why did I close that? Yeah, look at that, just an MSI though, come on now. When, when was this dated? I'm curious. Well, October 19th, 2020 is when they burned it. Well, yeah, so who knows when the actual file was put together. That is it for this blurb. <laughs> the CD itself is a little disappointing, but it's fine. It's just a physical copy of it that is as official as you can get, I guess. And that's all I wanted. And it wasn't expensive. And it's one of my favorite puzzles. Puzzling games from back then. That's it for this blurb. Have a good day, folks. Week. We'll try to. <laughs> Thanks for watching.